What's good, NFL Nation? 22 Khalil here, and recently in Carolina, there's been some rumblings about the head honcho in the QC. And I ain't talking about PD Pablo. Yes, folks, I'm talking about Cameron Jarrell Newton. And for about the last eight weeks, the media has been reporting numerous stuff about Cam's foot injury, recently with the Panthers putting him on IR last week. In addition, Ian Rappaport, aka Clone Shepter, been reporting that it's starting to look more certain that the Panthers to get rid of him come next offseason. Looking at most Panther fans, people are all of a sudden ready to get rid of Cam Newton, which must be swayed by Kyle Allen. Yeah, about Kyle Allen. Now don't get me wrong, Kyle Allen's doing a pretty good job of holding down the fort, considering the situation that happened. However, I think that's completely disrespectful to think that Kyle Allen, of all people, is a better quarterback for this team than Cam Newton when healthy. I like Kyle Allen, but let's be honest, him underthrowing our receivers, unnecessarily fumbling the ball at times, and his misreads can be a bit frustrating at times. You want a good example? Go watch Greg Olson reactions after some of his misreads. And for the people trying to say, well, if we cut Cam, we could save money. Um, excuse me, we will have Cam Newton, a generational talent, on a relatively cheap deal next year, with him making 19 million in this day and age in the quarterback era. Foot injury aside, when Cam Newton's healthy, he's the best option for this team no matter what, and should probably at least have a prove it here next season. And me personally, the only way we're gonna get rid of Cam Newton is we get a King's Ransom of uh, first round pick and multiple second round picks. Uh, other than that, I don't see why the Panthers would take a deal on him. The last time Cam was healthy, the Panthers was rolling at 6-2 and two until the great TJ Watt ruined all of that and started streaking him being 0-8. But the disrespect to Cam for years masked over some of the real problems that go on in Carolina. It's been a continuing issue that's been hurting the Panthers for a while, and to be quite honest, it's been here since Cam been in the league. Yes, I'm talking about Ron Rivera. When it comes to Rivera, I truly don't understand why people think of him so goddamn highly. For an honest opinion, I think that he is truly the Luke Walton of the NFL with the way he's highly regarded. Year after year, Rivera has shown on multiple occasions that he just isn't a good coach in his modern era of the NFL. Everything from his reluctance to adjust, late game management, all has been frustrating. The league evolved year after year. Rivera has failed to keep up with the modern game, often relying on amazing talents like Cam Keekley, and nowadays Christian McCaffrey to bail him out. Almost every time we run to a good or elite level coach, it feels like it's almost a guarantee that Ron will get outcoached by him every single time. His indecisiveness is something that's been killing us for a very long time, and at some point, people are going to start to get fed up and irritated with you running prevent defenses late, and also letting teams come back and beat us every year, year in and year out. All his flaws forces players like Cam to play damn near perfect every time, which is what happened in 2015, but if he doesn't repeat the same success, Cam's the first one to get the blame first thing on ESPN and Fox Sports. Another thing that hurts his team is the amount of times he and the organization mismanaged some of Cam's injuries, including last year's shoulder injury which he sustained, and the management letting him play through it. I would have hope for this team, but Ron Berry, year after year after year has proven that he just can't adjust to the modern days of the NFL. The pressure is on David Tepper to make sure that we get the most out of our talent. Because at the end of the day, we do have talent. Curtis Samuel, TJ Moore, Christian McCaffrey, Cam Newton, Brian Burns, Dante Jackson, Joe McCoy, you get what I'm saying. We have way too much talent to be playing inconsistent as we have this year. Cam McCaffrey is a superstar talent that can be a force for many years to come. And I'll be Dan Ron Rivera holds them back or take them away from a Super Bowl that we deserve. If Rivera doesn't go soon, I expect the same wishy-washy performances for years to come. Time after time, Ron Rivera is on the hot seat and is on the edge of being let go, then all of a sudden the players pull a rabbit out of the hat to save his job. And I'm sorry y'all if I'm being super negative right now, but I'm at the point where my frustration with Ron Rivera has boiled completely over. At this point, I'm fully confident to say that we will see a more dominant and better Ram Panthers team with Ron Rivera being gone. But enough of my babbling. Do y'all agree with my thoughts on Ron? Go ahead and vent down below. Also, vent down below if you think Cam should be the quarterback next year or not. Also, not to mention, be on the lookout for more vids this week. But anyways, it's your boy 22 Khalil, and as they say in Japan, Jao today.